Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. I can't trust you! Not like this! No. She's... she's coming with us. She's my responsibility. Look, Seb, we need to talk. You're getting out of control. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. We can continue the experiments. There are some things here that are to remain in the dark. Beacon. I just hope I can get there before he does. A little hasty with that gun, kid. What is it you plan on doing? What I have to do. Do your past secrets haunt you? Do you wish to tell them, but something holds you back? Come back, kid. You have a job to do. No! Stop! Get away from me! Stop running! <gasps> Is it over? I'm back? Agent Kidman? Are we awake? Hey, you! What's going on? Where is this place? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Are you kidding me? Ugh, waste of time. He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. I know. But if Ruvik leaves with him, there must be some way to stop him. Society is wounded. People are suffering. Hopeless. Just as you were. Before we saved you. Mobius can now do the same for everyone. STEM is a machine designed to connect everyone's subconscious. And whoever is at the center has the power to influence them. There couldn't be a better tool to change the world to lead. Society needs a curator, and Mobius will be just that, ushering in the next step of humanity. Wow. 
You were moaning in your sleep. Have a bad dream? Hey! I know you're out there! Do you have any idea why this world is the way it is? Hate. Hate. Ruvik's hate. The man's consumed by it. He wants out! Wants to get his revenge! He wants back what he feels the world took from him! Who's that? How does he know about Ruvik? Despite our powerful benefactors, with this much collateral damage, it's only a matter of time before people start to take notice. KCPD has been dropping by a female officer. I don't remember her name. Regardless, the police are not something I should be involved with. Mobius says they will take care of it and make an effort to ensure KCPD leave us alone. Then there is the reporter from the Crimson Post, Ivan. Something or other, he has become a personal annoyance. He barely qualifies as a tabloid journalist, writing cover stories about tales of church sacrifices and other nonsense. But now he's being persistent about the missing patient's claim. I'll be damned if he is the man who brings Beacon down. It seems that Reuben could be useful for other forms of problem solving. Perhaps I can interest this reporter in an exclusive interview. Uh. Leslie! If I'm still here, then he must be too. Too bad they dragged you into this. But either way, you're mine. To do with as I please. Sebastian. He must be somewhere else right now. Damn it, he doesn't have anything to do with this. Mobius. Something is pulling me back there. You should find this useful. While it is theoretically possible for a host to overwrite themselves on a user, the odds of compatibility are astronomical. But the boy, Leslie, you're saying he's a compatible subject. Yes, and based on Ruben's notes, the stem should be able to run with Leslie as its source. I need you to do tests. Determine what must be done to make him the blank slate we need. I knew what Leslie was capable of. Damn it, why would they hide that from me? We had a stem terminal here, on the lowest floor.
If Leslie's in here with me, he's probably headed there. And that may be my way out of here. get through with the power out. I've got to get things running again. barely see anything in here. Chemical lights. Better than nothing, I guess.
must be a way to get the power back on. Auxiliary power has been activated. Floor security is now including. Systems were previously shut down incorrectly. Each terminal requires manual restoration. Please be patient. Although brilliant, Reuben was quite insane. A compromise of ethics on our part. He seemed motivated, obsessed with revenge against something never specified. We discovered what he was doing in secret. Torturing. Pension for traps. A serial killer masquerading around as a scientist. turned far too aggressive and his techniques even more perverse. Da Vinci would dissect corpses to further his anatomical studies, but what Rubin has done goes beyond. 
demanding his subjects be aware as he dissects them to truly see how the mind reacts. He's more of a butcher than an artist. But we must remain scientists above all. I had taught him from a young age that the end shall justify the means, but I could not have predicted things to be this extreme. Mobius has learned of his involvement due to my carelessness. I've asked they bring him on board to assist in development. Perhaps offering him better facilities and support will refocus him and stave off his gruesome proclivities. This machine was designed for me. People like you. You took my life away. Turned me into an abomination. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. I can live the life I was supposed to have. We are forgiving. We are willing to overlook your certain peculiarities for what you can provide us. But you are testing our limits, our manpower, our resources are not here for your pathetic fantasy. You will reverse the calibration on the machine so we can use it without you. And what if I say no? You think he menace can fix this? <laughs> you need me, and there's no way around it. Ruvik. No. Reuben. This was where he was doing his research with us. We were just using him. And I doubt he's the first. back. Please enjoy this music while waiting. You've got to be kidding me. I'm all right for now.
What the? out of this Jimenez. He brought this upon himself. We gave him a chance. Where is he? If you really wish to know, he's in the next room. Come, see. patience to further his own research? The irony of this situation is amusing. But even you must realize what we can do with this. This means... STEM will run. We can continue the experiments. And your assistance... is even more necessary than before. This whole project... from the beginning it was about deceit. The young boy I mentored is now this. A mass of gray matter in a glorified test tube. Could they have been planning this all along? And what have I become in all of this? They've managed to keep his mind alive by simulating an artificial body. His consciousness is being confined to a metal straitjacket, a gear in their infernal machine. They have even stricken his name in humanity, referring to him by an anagram, Ruvik. A crude joke, 
as if spitting on his grave. I almost felt the urge to smash the case and end it right there. But my anger was quickly replaced by scientific curiosity. Reuben's legacy will live on. I will spearhead the next step. I will create something of my own out of this tragedy. What you see here is one of the first STEM prototypes. It requires a physical connection from user to host. But Beacon houses a newer version with a wireless transmitter. All the user hears is a high-pitched tone, and they're connected. We've gotten word Jimenez is prepping for unauthorized usage. We would like the trial run to be on our terms, not his. That sound in the patrol car must have been when Jimenez activated it. Joseph, Sebastian, Oscar... They were all pulled in with me. The stem and beacon. That's where it all started. There must be a way to get out of this world from there. Ignoring your mission. Running from responsibility. Just like you always do. No, that's not true! You don't know me! That much is obvious. But we need to make sure you do what you're told. You're lying to me. Hiding things. I can't trust you! Not like this! You are not required to trust us. Only to obey. You were assigned to your team for a reason. Castellanos, Oda, they know nothing. But they're searching for answers. Searching for us, you mean? One of us. But this may be our chance to remove them. Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities.
How's Lily doing? Great. Everything's going fine. Just wish my wife would be home more to take care of her. She barely took maternity leave, huh? One of Crimson's finest, I suppose. She's a great cop in her own right. But we can manage without her for a little longer. You should hope she doesn't hear you say that, or you'll be out in your ass, Joseph. This looks like it's way before I got here. Everyone's so much younger. But Sebastian's profile didn't say he was married. Let alone a child. We need to talk. Going off with your conspiracy theories? You're getting out of control. You don't pull that in front of the captain. I'm on to something, Joseph. I don't need you hiding shit from me, too. I'm not, Sebastian. I'm trying to help. I want to help. But you need to think about this carefully. Your daughter. It was a loss everyone on the force felt. But your wife is... Myra left, Joseph. She left. When we needed each other the most, Myra left me. What would make her do that? I have to know. I don't care what it costs. His daughter, then his wife? One right after the other? No wonder he always seems so closed off. any experience. We don't even know anything about her. Send her out canvassing witnesses then. Let her see the streets. No. She's... she's coming with us. I'm going to train her. She's my responsibility. Look, I know you say it's personal, and I don't like to talk about it, but we can't have your misplaced guilt leading to rookies slowing us down. Sebastian. He and Joseph weren't supposed to be involved. It shouldn't have happened like this. You've been on assignment for a week. How has it been? Observe and report, just like you ordered. It's surreal to be on the other side after all I've been through. Any signs of anything? Nothing yet. I'm not about to be caught snooping around the classified room while I'm still on probation, so I can't get what they have on us. Just earn their trust. That's all you can do now. It'll take a while, but in the end, they will let you in. I didn't know all these police officers were characters, though. Guess the tough, hard-boiled detective stereotype is still going strong. Our reports on Oda are that he doesn't let things slide. So be extra careful around him. we Will do. Though I can't imagine us getting along well. And... Detective Castellanos. Anything you have to share on him? Seems drunk half the time. But at least he's considerate. Is he really the one people are concerned about? He seems almost harmless. He is known to get emotional. Just make sure to give him his space. Respect him as your superior.
This is crimson? This can't be real. Beacon. I just hope I can get there before he does. He's not coming back. Ruben's experimentation has demanded more and more subjects. And sad to say, they're suffering as much as, if not more than, his previous patients. Fortunately, Beacon and the city offer no shortage of expendable subjects. I should feel guiltier than I do, but my Hippocratic oath was abandoned long ago. The scientific and medical potential of the work is too great to be denied. Mobius has also offered me a respectable amount of compensation. Promoting me to director at Beacon is not something to be taken lightly. First, however, they want me to have a reputation publishing studies in various journals, repurposing some of Rubin's research towards patient evaluation seems viable. I doubt he will even notice. Stop now. <sighs> well, here's where you'll be living. The view's pretty spectacular, huh? Holy shit, this is different than I'm used to. If you saw where I grew up. The past is over. 
You're with us now. Here are the keys. It's yours. You'll have to take care of your own food, clothing, and incidentals. But your bank account has more than enough to take care of that. So, that's it? What am I supposed to do? Whatever you desire. But your assignment at the Crimson City Police Department is precedent to everything. You are a police officer, and you must live as such, and act as such. I don't normally say this, but thank you. You shouldn't be thanking us. These aren't gifts we provide. You have a very specific assignment at KCPD, and all of this is in exchange for that. Okay, you're right. Sorry. Don't apologize. Just show us you can do your job. You said I shouldn't be, but I am thankful. I don't know what would have happened to me if you hadn't brought me in. The mark. Looks like it might be my only way out.
This is your last chance to prove yourself to us, kid. Don't let us down. Bring the boy to us. Stop it! Get out of my head! <laughs> <laughs>